Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. Dasha here. And today I want to talk a little bit about something that I don't think is often discussed and that's some aspects of post-college life. I just recently graduated from college and I remember hearing a lot about knowing how to budget and grocery shopping and cooking and cleaning or being away from home. But I think that there's some things that people don't really tell you about. So I want to talk about those today. One thing that I feel like isn't really talked about is how hard it is to find friends outside of college. Y'all, I am a part of a fellowship called Venture for America. Venture for America is a nonprofit and their goal is to revitalize American cities through entrepreneurship. So what that means for me is I'm working at a small company. I chose a nonprofit to work at and I'm working in a city that does not have a lot of young people my age. So I'm not in a New York or a Chicago or something like that. I'm in Birmingham, Alabama. What I've learned as a result of that, unlike where in college you were kind of forced into these spaces with other people and you were forced to um, kind of make friends, especially freshman year. It's like this event, that event, that event, come and meet people, come and do things, come and join organizations. That, it's not that easy once you graduate. You have to make an effort. You have to go out places, you have to do things, you have to seek out organizations. You have to ask people, you know, once you start getting to know someone a little bit, even if it's at work, you know, I'm interested in this. Do you know anything about that? I'm interested in that. Do you know anything about that? Is there any organizations in this area that's related to that? And sometimes you just have to put yourself out there a little bit like, hey, you know, I think you're pretty cool. You wanna hang out some time? Or, you know, do you have people that you hang out with? Because eventually, once you meet one person, that one person will introduce you to other people. And then those people can introduce you to lots of other people. And before you know it, you have a group of friends that you can do things with and have fun with. So, that's the goal. So another thing that I recently heard about in terms of making friends is an app called Meetup. And it's a social media platform that kind of gets you connected with people in the area who are interested in the same things that you're interested in. So that's an avenue that you can use also. Social media transferring into real life. That's the way that I like it. Something else that I know I experienced is just a feeling of loneliness. Even though you may have lots of people who love you, lots of people who care about you, people who are looking out for you, when you're in a new city in a new place surrounded by new people, it's really easy to feel alone. Everyone's really busy with their own lives and sometimes you won't hear from your friends as often as you used to. You're not gonna be able to walk across the hall and talk to your best bud and you're not gonna be able to, you know, walk across campus to get lunch or dinner with your friend and you don't have a planned meeting for this organization that you're gonna see your friend at all the time. So. I think you have to learn how to do one of two things. You have to either learn to be okay with that and learn to embrace being alone and knowing that being alone doesn't necessarily mean that you're lonely. You know, find something productive to do with your time. Uh, I mean, you can watch some cool Netflix. I like watching documentaries. Read a book. There's all kinds of things you can do. Pick up a new hobby, do some art. Whatever it is that you like to do, do it. You have time, don't sit around thinking about how you used to be surrounded by people. Eventually that will come, but for now, just improve yourself and who you are. If you're really one who does not like being alone, then just, again, make an effort to get out and do something. Don't sit around and mope. Be sad, because that's not gonna help you meet any people. Do things. When you do things, you meet people. That's how it works. I think it's also really important to understand that everyone else is going through this as well. I know that when I finally would reach out to some of my friends and talk to them about it, it's like all of them were feeling the exact same things. You know, just really trying to figure out life after college. I think a lot of times we look at social media and we let that dictate, you know, how we feel post-college life is. And I noticed I recently realized it's not quite what I thought it was before. So before, you know, I would see people on social media and it's like they are living. Like life is just 
great. They're going on vacation. They're traveling all over the place. They got all kinds of friends. They're all partying or whatever. I was like, wow, so that's what you get to do when you, you know, when you get out of college, when you graduate. You know, they're not showing you that part of their life when they were sad and they were trying to figure it out and they were like, what do I do? That's not the part that they show you because that's not the part that's glamorous. No one wants to hear about how sad you are because you're far away from home. But everyone wants to see like how great it is that you're going to like Mexico or something to party it up and live it up or just going anywhere, going to Dubai. Oh my gosh, so many people went to Dubai. One day, one day that's gonna be me. But anyways, so really I would just say, you know, prepare for it, but also embrace it because this is going to be a time period where you are growing and you are learning so much about yourself who you are, who you want to be. This is a time to explore, to really, really, really get outside of your comfort zone and do things that you've never done. Don't think of this time period as a bad thing or like a, oh, this is like the post-college slump. Think of it as the time for metamorphosis because I think that's truly what it's been for me. It's been a time of growth, change, reflection, metamorphosis. I'm still growing, still changing, still figuring it out but now I understand that that's a good thing as opposed to before when I was feeling really down on myself. So I hope that this helps. Um, if you have any experiences that you would like to share, I'd love to hear them. And until next time, bye. Say hi. <laughs> oh gosh, have you heard any background noises? It was from this much again. I'm forgetting other things I wanted to talk about. Do, 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 do. Next time I need to make a list. That's why people be doing all those lists. The three things.